this is the new design space video number two. This is where I left off on the last one. If you missed the last video, click around here. Maybe I'll put a link to it and I'll put a link to it in the description below. So this is exactly where I left off. And let's go ahead. I said I'm going to show you how to edit some images. Okay, I don't really want to do 3D objects, so I'm going to click the X. You know what? I'm going to go up here and search. Oh, in the subscription it's showing there's 30,592 images. Well, a year ago it was only 25,000. So they've added over 5,000 images in the past year. Let's go ahead and search Easter. This Easter is coming up, right? Like in three months. <laughs> How cute the Easter bunny is. I like this one that has a bite out of its ear. I like all these Easter bunnies. They look like chocolate, right? <laughs> There's 134 Easter images. in the subscription. There's more outside the subscription. It's cute. Some Easter eggs. That's nice. Oh, I love that. This is from Teddy Bear Parade. Kind of like this one too. And this one matches it. Okay, click the right mouse button. Oh, and this one does too. These must be from the same cartridge. Check. Celebrate with flourish. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's go to insert image. And if you notice, all the images still do come in at about the same size. From the top to the bottom. Let's go to the edit screen. Size is, or the height is 2.29. It's 2.4, and this one's 2.4. This one's 2.29, and that's 2.29. All these from the same cartridge are 2.29. These are both 2.4. Okay, now you'll see this is a little different with the box around it. Let's move all this out of the way. To make it larger, you just drag it. Now that makes it larger equally. The width and height will stay in proportion. Now if you don't want it proportion, if you want to make it a fat rabbit, click the unlock button and then you'll notice these arrows. See if I lock it, it only has those arrows unlock it and I could drag it this way or I could drag it down if I want to make it fat and keep it that way but make it bigger you can just lock it back up so this lock is great so some of you that want to make it in proportion to keep it that way so you can see it now, I want to ungroup this. How do I do that? I don't see ungroup anywhere. It's in the layers panel. And I don't want this layers panel way over here. I like it next to my image. So I can just click my left mouse button and drag it over. 
And then I have ungroup. I can see all my layers for every image on here. And the shadows are hidden. So you can put the shadows. This one doesn't have a shadow. But the ones that do have a shadow, they're hidden. And you can make them be seen. So that shows what's new about this. And if you don't want this layers panel anymore, you can just throw it back in there. And you still have the slice weld attach flattening contour in here. Let me show you contour. Contour in the Cricut Craft and they called it hide contour, which is the same thing. They just took out the word hide. And then I could click on the eye, then click anywhere else, and there's no eye. You could add your own little eye if you wanted, instead of having it the shape it was. Let's go ahead and let's exit this out. We're going to look for a circle. Let's try this circle and this one. Let's insert image. I didn't even know if this circle existed actually. That's too big. Let's make this bigger. There. Okay, let's grab that, hit command, and grab this and slice. Giving the bunny a new eye. There we go. So we could take that out. And then the bunny has a new eye. Okay. Let's let's do a solid eye. And let's see if we can hide contour. No. You cannot hide contour on sliced images. So let's go ahead and make this smaller. Bring it to the front. And we're going to select them both and hit slice. There. Now the bunny has a new circle eye. So that's how you can slice it. Let's just get rid of all this. And let's look at this. Let's ungroup it. And you can take all these layers away. You could slice this right through that layer, but there's really no reason to. Because you have this, it would just do the same thing. I wonder what would happen if we slice those. Just took the bunny out of there. And you can, there's so many things you can do with this. And if you want to zoom in, you can zoom in this way. It goes pretty big. And you can zoom back out. You can make it pretty small. You can scroll. And this box here will turn the grid lines on and off. So you still have that. And let's make this bigger. You still have cut, copy, and paste. So you can copy it and paste it. 
and I just prefer to go down here and click Duplicate in the Layers panel. And then you also have Sync. And the Sync looks a little bit different. You could change things. You can drag them to more colors. You could drag the whole entire thing to the same color. You can make them all the same color. And then if you want to change the colors back, once they're sliced, it shows you their sliced images. You can get rid of some of the images if you're not working with them right now. Like, we're not working with the basket. So, I don't want those in my layers panel. So I can find things easier. And then you can also mirror, just like before. Flip it around. Size it here, position it on the mat here. You can also use your arrow. Now, if you want to change the color of an image over here, you can click on here and it will bring this up. It'll show you it's uncut. Or you can change it to write and pick the color you want to write in. Or you can just make it score. Or you can print it. And here's the colors, shows you the number of the color, change this red, let's change him back to brown, so he's chocolate. Now if I click print, I only have, it's only going to print that one, it's not printing this. Let's hit flatten there. Now this will be printed on there. You have to flatten it for that. So I changed my mind. I don't want it to print. I want it to cut. But I can't cut cut. You have to unflatten it. Then it separates the two layers. Click on it again and change it to cut. And then change this to cut. As you can see, this thing is pointing, even though I have them both selected, this is pointing to the one you're working on. See? Change it there, and I change it there. What if I want it to score? See, it changed that to a dotted line, so it's going to score that. So wherever you see the dotted line, it's going to score it. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see, but that is a score line. Okay, let's change that to cut. Let's go ahead and get the score tool. It's not a tool, it's a line. So I'm just going to type in score. Here's the score line. Let's say I want to, okay, I'm going to make this a card. Go to the edit panel, flip it around. I'm going to duplicate it. That one needs to go the other way. And we're going to attach it at the tail. And we gotta make sure these are even. They're not. This is 0.87 and this one's 0.9. So we're gonna change this one to 0.9. So I know they're even this way. And we're gonna select them both. There we 
Zuko. We have them both selected and we're going to weld. Now notice when you weld, it welded everything in it. So it welded the bow right into it. So if you didn't want that to happen, then you have to separate the bow and ungroup them. But I'm going to move the score tool right between those because that's where it will. Let me send this to the back. And you can see the score line when it's on here, it's a dotted line. To change the width of the score tool, I'm just going to go over here in the height in the edit panel and make it shorter. Now, in order to get that to attach, onto there, you have to select them all, go to the Layers panel, and click Attach. So now it's one piece, and when I go to cut this, it will be scored right here where I want it to be. Let's make that smaller. Okay, let's go ahead and hit Go, see what happens. Oh, it wants to print this because I forgot I still had that on print. But you can choose. See, now it's going to do these back to back. And when you fold them, it'll be a bunny shaped card. And here's all the other images. If you put them all the same color, you can do them on the same mat. And you can move these around just like you could before. And say you want them in different colors. So you wanted these all one color. I could put a different color paper in this corner and a different color paper in this corner so I could still cut them all out on the same mat but use different colors. I prefer not to do it that way just because I like to not have to think and let it do it for me and tell me what color paper to put on the next mat. So you can just choose this and hit go. I don't have my machine hooked up. But it's so nice that you can just pick the mat that you want. Okay, that's it for this video. Join me in the next video where we will go over the text in adding text to your image. Thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. But first, here's a, here's a shout out to just a few of my supporters on Patreon. Thanks, guys. Annie Lavalli Curtis, Letitia Brandt, Jody Wilkins, Ruth Woodworth, Diane Marsh, Catherine Martinez, Margie Roy, Donna Bunch, Kathleen Goski, and Belinda Pollitt.